hello guys uh, this is second tutorial for Desmos and today again I'm going to use list to create a graph which will you feel that it's tracing okay so let's start with that how the output will look like look at this it's a point and which is leading the graph actually so that's really easy what we need we need the list again so let me show you both I have two graphs with me then I'll show you how to do it so I'm using slider and list two things again so that you can play with them so let's get started with the very basic stuff again so again you are on the Desmos calculator so first of all I would like to create a list so I will create k equals to use the keypad of Desmos to insert the special bracket parenthesis and in this bracket you can enter some values for example uh, minus 2 and minus 1.8 any pattern whatever you like minus 1.6 and so on and then I can enter my last value maybe I can enter direct variable because in the last video we used that so let me use M and this is my slider let me fix my values of M let's say it's minus 1.626 so my slider is there my list is there now I want which function I would like to have the graph for example sine function cosine function or any polynomial function so we can easily do that for example if I say because the x values are taken from k and the y values are taken from the function for example my function is k you can see here and for the, this is for the graph k sine k is for the graph but for the leading point the you know the tailing point m sine because m will change and the point will move you can make it label also so that you can see the values so let me see it's labeled now let me play the slider so now you can see as the point is moving on you can change the animation speed for example here and only in one direction that's pretty cool what I'm going to change here these points I don't want the points I want the smooth curve so I have the curve but I want to hide points here you go now this is really cool that you can teach your students like at different values what are the values of sine x we can check with any polynomial graph for example I have a parabola so let me start the slider for k square minus 3k plus 2 again I'm using two things K and M K for the graph M for the leading point so look my parabola is here you can show points or you can just show the curve you can manage it with the edit and here you can just put points off and just the line just the curve but if you would like to have the points then you just turn it on or you can have a dotted line like that so here like we can use table like this graph looks like we plotted this point by point thank you I'll take you back to the previous screen again you can see how smoothly these curves are going on so again only two things list and variable the slider thank you